The match with Zeke ended all square. But you could say I won the lottery when I was referred to Hamura for some Simon. This family recipe and Kauaian delicacy has been passed down now for generations, and it was an honor to get time with Lori Tanagawa, the current owner and operator of this truly authentic eatery. So what is the secret? There is no secret. It's a lot of hard work, I said. How did it all get started? What, what, how how um, did this happen? My grandmother started the business. What do you remember as a kid? Making Simon and coming here to work. This is your life? Pretty much. We do 1,600 pounds a week of Simon. Has anything changed? Is this the same recipe? It's the same. We've always been here. You hear about, oh, this is good food. You go in, you look back there, and you see the ladies Noodles, pa, pa, you know, that thing. And you're going, wow. And you see people lined up. You know something special is in here. A lot of people come here daily, daily, to eat Simon. I mean, we can see them today, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Well, a friend of mine eats here regularly. He says he comes on a regular basis. He doesn't even have to order. He gets looks up, yeah, gets a nod. Yeah, all they do is they... The workers look at who's sitting here, and they already know what they want. So there's no verbal communication. Okay, we know who that is. Just stick the bowl out, and we make them. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Jesus! Let me get that for you. Okay. What is happening right now? Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. She's been here 44 years. You've been here since you were a little girl. That's part of the secret, right? Consistency, people committed to the quality. I can give somebody one big bowl of Simon or a big piece of pie, but what does it taste like? I come in the morning and I make sure the soup is good. Taste it. I taste it. And when I'm satisfied, they know, because I'll turn the stove to low. That means it's ready to use. What happens if you turn it up? Then it needs improvement. <laughs> Eventually, my nephews, my daughters, they are ready, preset for it. Yeah, they're ready. I shouldn't say they're ready, but they're gonna have to be ready. We're good at it, because I think about my grandmother and what she stood for, and so that's what drives me. The only thing driving us after a bowl of Simon and a massive slice of homemade lilikoi pie was the need for a sleep. Hey, just want to say thanks for watching. The full episode on Kauai is available here, and for more storytelling in and around the world of golf and life, go to firepitcollective.com.